Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number two in my MySQL series. And in this video, I wanna talk to you guys about something called primary keys and uh, where they're useful and also why they're so important to have. But before we get started uh, with the tutorial, I just wanna talk to you guys about my sponsor, Dev Mountain. So Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp that can teach you how to become a web developer or an iOS developer. And they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a career within this field uh, within 12 weeks. So if you are struggling to teach yourself or uh, the, the, I mean the whole process of self-learning can sometimes take quite a while but if you are really trying to change career and you really want to become a developer uh, pretty quickly then you might want to consider taking a look at their website and inquiring about a course. A link to their website is in the video description below. And uh, yeah, if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. So now let's talk about primary keys. And I'm gonna start this video off by just defining what a primary key is. So a primary key is a unique field within our table, right? This means that it's not going to repeat and there is not going to be another field like that uh, within our table, so yeah. It's very, very important that we have one of these because it allows us to be really specific when working with elements in a table. So let's take a look at an example real quick. And uh, let's say I have a users table and my users table has a name, a last name, a telephone number and an email address, right? Uh, this is okay when everybody has a different name. So let's say I have uh, a Quinton Watt and a Christy Dansk and a Sean Pooley. I can search through my database looking for a Christie or looking for a Quinton, and if there's only one, I know that I'll only ever receive this Quinton. But it isn't entirely impossible that there are two Quinton Watts out there in the world. In fact, I'm sure there's a few hundred. So a situation like this could happen where I have three Quinton Watts using my website and they, have, they might have different telephone numbers or different email addresses, but their names are still the same. Uh, and so that becomes a little bit difficult uh, when I'm searching through my database looking for a specific person named Quinton um, and then there happens to be three with the same name. So you might think to yourself, okay, well, a telephone number is something that's not gonna repeat. Maybe I can make that a primary key. But if I make the telephone number a primary key and this user changes their telephone number or changes their email address, that's also not ideal, right? We don't want that to happen either. So uh, it turns out that a better way of doing things is to have a, another column in our table with an ID. And whenever a user signs up to our website, we will assign them an ID number. So uh, in this case, um, our ID becomes our primary key and we will then assign the first user an ID of one. Well, I mean, you could, you could figure out a way to make a specific unique ID for every single one of these people. Like if you think about it, uh, when you have a social security number or an identity number um, in whatever country you live in, whatever you call that thing, uh, yeah, your government makes what, like a 10 digit or a 13 digit number for you. In this case, we don't need to get as complicated as that. We can just assign a user a number of one. And then the next user that signs up for our website, we can assign them a number of two. And then the next user that signs up for our website, we can assign them a number of three. And we can always refer to these users as, uh, well, their ID number. So now I can search through my database looking for anybody with an ID of two, and I know that I will only ever get this Quinton and I won't mistake this Quinton for this Quinton who has an ID of one, right? Uh, and so that's what a primary key is there for, and we will continue to use it even when people have different names. So even if there's a situation where there are no repeated uh, you know, names in our database, we'll still have that ID field there because it also helps us specifically select this row and this row only. So yeah, the whole idea behind a primary key is that it just allows us to be really, really specific when working with our tables. So in this case, uh, let's say I wanted to remove data from my database, I could select and remove any user by the ID of two, and that would remove Christy Dunsk, and it would only remove Christy, it wouldn't remove anybody else with a, the same name. 
So now that you know what a primary key is, it is time to end this video. So uh, before I do that though, I just wanna send a thank you to these guys who contribute $5 or more on Patreon every month. Um, their contributions go a long way to helping me make more videos more often. So if you do like the videos I make and you wanna help me make more of these videos, uh, consider pledging on Patreon. And that is all I have for you. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, and share this video because that's also gonna really help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.